Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Simmer 291 piece cable management cord organizer kit. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's get this open. Okay, so let me get this separated out here. Okay, so here are all the pieces. So this has a variety of different things you can use to help organize your cables. So some of these could be used on your desk or workbench. Some could be used in a tech bag or just for storage in general. So I think a kit like this can be very useful if you're not 100% sure how you want to organize your wires because it gives you lots of tools to work with. So you can look amongst this and say, oh, this tool will work good in one spot and this will work good somewhere else. So I'll do a quick look of everything and then I'll go over them individually. So we have two cable sleeves with zippers. We have 17 self-adhesive cable clip holders. We have 20 reusable cable clips, 50 reusable colorful cable ties. We have two rolls of reusable self-adhesive cable ties. And then we have 200 zip ties. We have 100 black, 100 white. Then we have these seven cord holders. So these are the reusable cable twists. So you put these around your cables and then you twist them to lock them in place. So this is very useful for bundling cables. And of course they're reusable. So that's nice. And we have quite a few of those. Here we have the cable sleeves. So this would be if you have a number of cables going up from say like a tower to a monitor or desktop area, you can put them all inside of this sleeve and it will bundle them together, make them look nice. This is a sort of neoprene foam material. So I'll get some cables so I can demonstrate all of these. Here are a couple ethernet cables. So I'll show that cable twist again. So that's holding on there. Then we have the sleeve. So I'll start at one end and I'll hold the cables together and I'll start zipping. And I'll just put all the cables in there and zip it up. There we go. So you can imagine you could have power cable in here, USB for some keyboards or audio speakers, things like that. So that gives a very clean look. Next we have the nylon cable ties, which are also called zip ties. The size is four by 200 millimeter. So these would be good for more permanent installations. Now I say permanent in that you're not going to be changing them regularly because you typically have to cut these to get these off. Then we have these two rolls of hook and loop tape. So if you had a large bundle, this would work well. So I'll take my fingers like it's a large bundle of cables and we can put that around there and then we can cut that. So we have this bag here that has shorter ones, but if you need a custom size or even a smaller size would work. Like if you just had something this big, that's my pinky, you could wrap that around, cut it off and it gives you a really nice clean look. So there's two of those. Then we have these colored ones. So we have gray, green, blue, yellow, and black. There's mostly black and those look like this. So let's peel one off. So you can use these to color coordinate or to organize things. If you have certain types of cables, you want certain colors. I find these to be useful on charging cables. Now there's a couple ways you can use these. It has a slot in here. You can put this through like that and leave it on one end. And now we can bundle this up like so. And then we can wrap this. There we go. Another way you could do this is you have the bundled cable, stick it in like that, stick this through here. And do that and then wrap it around. So if you have a lot of cables you travel with, this can be really handy to keep them from being tangled. Another thing you could potentially do here is this is a, I don't know, four foot cable or something. If you don't need a cable that long, we could just leave this lead out here and bundle the rest of this up. So I could plug this into the charger and this into the phone and we've essentially shortened our cable here. So there's many uses for these. I use this style quite often. Next we have these self-adhesive cable clips. So it looks like these are all the same size. We'll pull this in here and open it up and you can put your cables in there. So we have these ethernet cables. We can put those in and we'll clip that shut. So you could put this on the back of a desk or the underside of a desk. This has a 3M adhesive on here, so that'll give you strong hold. Now one thing to consider is that you want your surfaces clean before you adhere these, and then don't pull them off right away. It can take a couple days for them to get full bond. Lastly, we have these cord holders. We have a couple different configurations here. We have three, two, and one. So we have one, three, two twos, and four ones. So this is a soft rubber, and what you do is you adhere this to your desk, and then you can take a cable like this charge cable and put that in there, and it will keep it from falling off the 
desk. So this can be really handy for a nightstand. So say you have your phone charger cable plugged in behind your nightstand and you don't want it to fall off, you can adhere that to the top and then put your cable in there. And then you pull it out, plug it into your phone, and when you're done with it, you can push it back in or if it falls down, it's going to stop it. So you don't have to dig behind your nightstand, get your cable out. So I think these are great for charging cables, USB cables, headphone cables, and things like that. So you could also use these for cables that are installed all the time to kind of like route them. Like you could put this under a desk, it will hold the cable up there and you could route cables in that. This is probably the more ideal solution for that, but these are mostly made for the top of a desk where you put the cable in the top. Now you are limited to the size, so you could put some HDMI cables in here, but thicker ones would probably not work. So you'd want to have a slim cable. And then I don't think the ethernet cable will fit in there either. So looks like the gray one will fit. The black one does fit. It's just a little tight. So that's the Simmer 291 piece cable management cord organizer kit. Now I've used different variations of some of these. I've used zip ties. I have not used the cable zipper sleeves and I'm sure I've come across these before. I've seen these like inside PC cases that are actually attached to the case. These are very easy to use. I like that and these are quick to use too and I've used these a lot and I've come across this a little bit but I don't know if I've had a roll myself but that'll be great for making custom sized cable ties. And I've used different variations of self-adhesive cable holders. So I'll probably put all these in a little plastic shoebox. And then on my next cable organization project, I'll have all these pieces to pull from to do the best job I can. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.